So, adrenaline, it is a drug of choice for anaphylactic shock. Now, let me tell you what is the dosage of the adrenaline and what is the route of administration of adrenaline when you are giving in case of anaphylactic shock. Now, you take this adrenaline whenever you are giving this by intramuscular or subcutaneous route. Right? When you give this adrenaline via intramuscular or subcutaneous route, it is given of 5, 0.5 ml is given and 0.5 ml of 1 is to 1000 solution. So, the dilution should be 0.5 ml of 1 is to 1000 solution. Right? So, this is the dosage of the adrenaline when you are giving via intramuscular or subcutaneous route. So, that is, that is around 0.5 mg. Right? The dosage is around 0.5 mg. Alright? Now, among this particular intramuscular and as well as the subcutaneous route, you see here intramuscular route is preferred. Right? Intramuscular route is preferred. And that too, at which particular place that is on the lateral thigh. Right? So, the intramuscular route is preferred on the lateral thigh. Alright? Why? Because, why the subcutaneous route is not preferred is, because when you give this adrenaline via subcutaneous route, there is variability in the absorption from the subcutaneous route. That is the reason why the intramuscular route is preferred. So, subcutaneous route, there is variability of absorption, right, at various different sites, okay. Now, you take another route, that is intravenous route. So, intravenous route is avoided, right? Intravenous route as such it is avoided, but it can be used rarely and that too if you are giving in via intravenous route, it is given at much lower concentration, right? So, intravenous route it is avoided, if at all it is given, it is given rarely, right? It is given rarely and that should be given at low concentration. Right, that should be given at low concentration. So, that particular low concentration is around 1 is to 10,000. Right, that particular low concentration is around 1 is to 10,000. Right, so that is whenever you are giving this adrenaline via intravenous route. Next, if you take this adrenaline, like adrenaline combination of the local anesthetic, right, local anesthetic we give uh, either subcutaneously or intradermally. So, if at all, if you want that the action of the local anesthetic has to be increased, that means if the duration of the action of the local anesthetic, if it has to be prolonged, what you have to do is local anesthetic have to be combined with the adrenaline. Why local anesthetic has to be con combined with the adrenaline is because adrenaline will cause the vasoconstriction in that particular area. So, local anesthetic will not be absorbed into the systemic circulation and thereby the duration of action of local anesthetic will be increased. Alright. So, remember adrenaline will prolong the duration of action of the local anesthetic. Right. Will prolong the duration of action of the local anesthetic. How it will increase the duration of action of the local anesthetic? Because adrenaline will cause vasoconstriction in that area. Because there will be vasoconstriction in that area, local anesthetic is not absorbed, right? Not absorbed into systemic circulation. Right, it is not absorbed into the systemic circulation. So, remember this point, this is a very, very important point. Next, now another use of this adrenaline is adrenaline is also used in patients with cardiac arrest. 
Another important action of the adrenaline is it is used in cardiac arrest. Right? This is another very very important point. All right. Next. Now, whenever you are giving in case of cardiac arrest, right? Whenever you are giving adrenaline in case of cardiac arrest, the preferred route is the intravenous. Right? The preferred route is intravenous. Followed by the intravenous route, the adrenaline can be given either by the intraosseous route and as well as the endotracheal route. Right? Followed by intraosseous and endotracheal. Okay, intraosseous and endotracheal. All right. So this is another very important use that is in the cardiac arrest. Now, if you take this adrenaline, depending upon the concentration of the adrenaline, this adrenaline is used in many conditions. I'll tell you, adrenaline depending upon its concentration and depending upon its route of administration, it is used in various conditions. Right? Let me discuss that. Before that, you see here, adrenaline is a drug of choice for anaphylactic shock. It is given either intramuscular or subcutaneous route. At a dosage of 0.5 ml of 1 is to 1000 solution, that is around 0.5 mg. And between these two routes, intramuscular route is more preferred and that too in the lateral part of the thigh. Whereas the subcutaneous route, why it is not preferred is because of the variability of the absorption at different subcutaneous route. An intravenous route as such it is avoided. Why? Because the why it is avoided is because of its increased efficacy. That is the reason why it is avoided. If at all if it is used, if it, it is used rarely and that too it should be used at very low concentration of a dilution of 1 is to 10,000. And adrenaline when it is given along with local anesthetic it will prolong the duration of the local anesthetic. What adrenaline will do is it will cause vasoconstriction in that particular area and thereby the local anesthetic is not absorbed into the systemic circulation. And the other place where we use this adrenaline is it is used in cardiac arrest. Right? The route of administration is intravenous route followed by that intraosseous and as well as the endotracheal route of administration has to be given in patients with the cardiac arrest. Now let me discuss the concentration of the adrenaline for different routes and as well as the indications.